Hello everybody, in this video we'll be loading up a JSON file. Well, we, by loading up I mean reading. We will want to name this print JSON. And Um, uh, now that it's open, get everything except the start function and we'll want to make a text asset oops, text asset file which I'm going to be uh, referring to as JSON so, um, when Unity imports a JSON file, it imports it as a text asset. So now that it has the file, we can actually um, do some of the coding. So, um, this is JSON example, and we'll be uh, demonstrating that we can read all of these function variables. Um, JSON example will be our C sharp equivalent to JSON example dot JSON. Now we'll have a function named get JSON. And here we'll make a new instance of JSON example. You may be wondering why it's underlined in red. Um, it's because we haven't actually defined it yet. Then, if we go to JSON utility from JSON, you would have. Um, well, first you have to put in what do you want to export. Well. as and we'll, we want to explore as a JSON example and then we'll have JSON.txt now time to make uh, the actual um, JSON example just remember to make uh, JSON example system dot serializable then So here in oops, it's not remember, don't make it static, make it a string, and then a bit of an explanation. So here we have num1, which output is an integer, so we write in it str1's output is a string, so we'll write string, and bool1's output is a boolean, which we'll write as a bool. Now, we'll have to realise that we actually have, actually want some input. And then actually return the output. 
Now if we load this up or compile the code. We have a value, one, two, three. But uh, we could also have uh, str one. And we have coding, and uh, and therefore ball one is very likely to work. Uh, this will this will be available to download in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next.